talk at Gogoruko where I came out and said you're all a bunch of homophobic, sexist, racist bigots, which some people didn't take well, but there's science behind it. If you want to talk to me later, there's studies that show you have biases you don't like admitting. Um, but if you know you have them, you can kind of try to counter them. And some people argued about that, and someone argued with Josh that there's no, there's no discrimination in our field, otherwise Dennis wouldn't have made it off the stage and drag. So apparently the discrimination is either you kill someone or there's none of it. And I kind of disagree with that. Uh, I think as long as, as I said, there are closeted, high-profile community members, there might be some discrimination going on. And people complain about not being able to hire women and minorities, but they could say it couldn't possibly be anything to do with them. And I wanted to give some more people some input on this one, so. Clay, hello. Hello, my name is Renee DeVorsney. I'm a programmer and I'm a woman. I'm not one of the guys. I expect respect at work. I wanna be respected as a woman and as a programmer. Have a level of professionalism that shows respect to yourself and all your colleagues. There's a problem when I'm expected to always be the one to call out the sexist crap that gets said in front of me just because I'm the only woman present. There's also a problem with the notion that if I don't call you out on it, it's okay. There's no such thing as implied consent. Let's fix this. Men out there, if you see it, call your colleagues out. Be aware and demonstrate that you expect your peers and subordinates to be professionals. Thank you. So I was also going to have a black guy and a gay guy give videos, but they fell through. So out of like three guy, two guys, the woman was the only one that came through. Just putting that out there. Um, <laughs> it, there's discrimination. We have it. Uh, and basically our culture is kind of like a, a bunch of frat boys, honestly. And we kind of all know it, might want to deny it. But if you think or sit around like when you're drinking and joking around, it's pretty misogynist sometimes. And we could be better about it. Sure, there's a supply problem. There aren't enough women to hire. But it's not that bad of a supply problem. There's a reason that there aren't the women to hire. And it doesn't help that a friend pointed out his little girl was asked, hey, Daddy, what are you doing? He's like, I'm programming. And he said, do you want to program when, she grow when you grow up? And she said, no, I want a boy job. Um, yeah, that's a culture-wide thing. But part of the culture is our culture. Is that two minutes? So we really could be a lot more inclusive. And part of the problem is don't argue with someone when they say, hey, maybe that doesn't help. If you make some comment like, oh, the problem is women need to step up, and you say girls, sorry to pick on the one guy. I'm a, I like him. He, he was made an innocent comment. And someone says, hey, maybe that's not the most inclusive way to say that. Arguing with him about it really doesn't help. Um, you, sorry, white, straight males, you don't get to decide like what's discrimination or not, because you don't know what it means. Uh, I had a little story at the other one that I'll repeat where Randall Thomas came to my wedding in Texas and had to drive two hours through the middle of nowhere, Texas at night with his white girlfriend. And he complained about that. And I got an argument with him. I'm like, dude, I know this part of Texas is not that bad. Uh, and then I thought about it a little and went, you know, I should shut up. I'm a white dude. I don't know what it's like to drive across Texas as a black dude. Um, and not all of you, but a lot of you are white straight guys. Um, you don't know what it's like, so just kind of shut up when someone says, hey, maybe that's not cool. Say, okay, you know, maybe, maybe I could, maybe I'm doing everything I think I could, but I could be a little better when someone says, hey, that's sexist. So that's kind of really all I had to say.